Hey guys, Chad here. Welcome to Total Tuesday, um, during which you will see a total mess up of me on Medieval Total War 2. Now, uh, the thing is, uh, it's thanks to some superb feedback by some of my viewers, thank you for that, um, we're going to be doing a lot of farming and stuff like that, probably a lot less military than originally planned, so um, what we've got is over here, uh, this guy here, my lord. yeah, he, the thing is, he's obviously going to... Let's see if we can yes, take sir. that for the time being. Um, so we'll do that on the next uh, thing. But what we'll do is we'll leave that there. No more troop recruitment. And leave that there. No more troopage. Now what we might try and do is get rid of these guys. Get rid of let's have a look, spear militia. Keep those guys. My lord. Get rid of some of those spear militia. Uh, keep the cost down, basically. And we can get rid of town militia. And these guys with pitchforks. Just leave them like that for the time being. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. What have we got? Coal. Let's get that down. Actually, you know what? Let's take him back. No, That's not to do it, possible, but he'll sire. Attack. Never mind. We can't do it, sire. Your orders, sire. So he's going to proceed there. Uh, let's. Yes, yeah, he's right. going to proceed to Dublin, and let's just wait and see what happens. So, I'm going to leave the money off, and if we look at our construction. I want to go for land clearance and dirt roads because obviously uh, land clearance will improve the farms and the food production and dirt roads will basically improve roads and trade and what I think I need to do as a priority is get a port built so as you can see that basically has gone in there in London as the primary so because then we'll have this port over here courtesy of uh, Carl and we'll have plenty of things to do so next next one so yeah he's moving on yada 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 blah 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 get on with it so scots have gone back to scott they're in york right du -du 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 -du. for prince rufus let's see how old our rufus is prince rufus where are you no henry hmm. robert Francis, uh, Prince Rufus is 29. Okay, so it was good to get him attached to a woman of virtue. Okay, let's accept that for the time being. So, that's looking good. So, nice bird called Emmeline. Very nice name. As you can see, the amount of money is starting to improve. Uh, path has been blocked by Lawrence Biddle, diplomat been blocked by the French. Yes, so my lord. I'm sure he'll find a way round. Let's check that mission. He's going there. Without question. So he's sire. gone round him and he's on his way over Stopping to the Holy here, Roman Empire. Sire. And let's see what else goes on. So as you can see, turn of report, profits, there we go. We're making profit now. Um, so it's definitely improved. You should see income is over the top of the expenditure. So it means we're going to start getting money back in because we're not spending it on necessarily fat armies like this boy here. Now the thing is, do I want to attack that? Because it's just one more thing to worry about. Do I have... No, I don't have him there. So what I'll do Your will, sir. is that is Robert, who's a family member. And that is Francis Selwyn. He isn't very good. So we'll get Order. him over Ships ready. there Heading ashore, my lord. and send him up to Nottingham. What that'll do is my that'll lord. basically ensure yes, governor sir. stays in there and ensure security and what we'll do we continue tomorrow, is sir. we will continue and go back as to Col wish. with these guys and use Col as my primary base of operations in France. Uh, not worry about building them up with respect to anything except for dirt roads and land clearance so we're going to improve that once we've got the money to do that uh, we're obviously I think what would be good is to get a port into York at some point um, that will give us obviously good trade routes up to there and then we might be able to consider making a move into Wales so we might want to move that army into Wales take Wales take Ireland give us more resources there 
and money, and that will certainly improve things from that respect. So, But definitely the feedback you guys have given me on Total Tuesday has been very good. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. So, yeah. Come on. Oh, look, the, uh, f the Holy Roman Empire are attacking people over there. So they're doing all their funky thing. Now, the fact that the Scots are just standing outside York and it's near their border concerns set, me. We're ready to so, as you can see, 436. So it's starting to come back in. Money is starting to improve. So as you can see, we're, you know, we're getting there with respect to, uh, there you go, so the queues are stalled because of lack of funds, as expected. Orders. This guy's going back here. This Your guy is going done. into there. And what we'll do is we'll get rid of these guys. Peasants, spear militia, levy spearmen. Your will, sire. Okay, let's have a look compared to this guy. See, look, recruitment cost, recruitment cost. Um, how much? See, these guys are a lot cheaper. They're about the same, to be honest. See, these are a lot. The mailed knights are going to cost me a lot. See, 680 and the hobbelars. So we'll get rid of the hobbelars. And I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of a couple of the lower rank spear guys. And leave it like that for the time being. So he's currently in Caen at the moment. So he's all very happy. Uh, he's on his way to Nottingham. Is there anybody at York? Who's there? Okay, our faction there. Actually... You know what? What I might do is swap their Your position. Will, I don't really want my faction there to be tomorrow, in a position Command of me, danger. Sire. I'd rather have them in a big fat fortress than a little wooden hut uh, with Scots people outside. Because you never know what those ginger skirt wearers are going to get up to. So, next round. Or next turn, I should say. If I call it round, people will rage. So, Stalfen. And there's the uh, priest on his way to Ireland. There is a thing, okay. So this might be my mission. By Bride Betrothed, Henry, Amlin of Wellington. Okay. Now let's have a look at Henry. Where are you? See, now Henry's just turned 16. So as you can see, lots of loyalty. He has a dreaded father. Dreaded father, which is unusual for being 16, dubious, night fighter, um, and he obviously can have some people. So, let us look. See, Emily of Wellington, yeah, let's go for her. Path of Lock, Lawrence Biddle, diplomat, yeah, whatever. Oh, yes, Wonga coming in and being spent. Mission, for what? For God's sake. All because being blocked by flipping... There we go, coming of age under the tutelage, great name, or great word I should say, of his father. Marry celebrations, there's Henry and Amelin. So all he's got to do is get her up the duff as quickly as possible. So no current missions, bugger I could have done with the money. So what we'll yes, do no is we'll speak to him anyway. Is there something and discuss? just say trade rights. Agreed, I accept your proposal. Good for you. Until next time. Yes, indeed. So, at the moment, uh, what we need to do is see what's going on. My There's Lord. the English merchant there. Let's send him over here. As you try command. and get yes, some sire. wine. We'll start sending these to England at once. At so, there we go. Service. Trading wine generating 12 florins per turn. So, all good and dandy. So, let's see what we've got at Col. So there's the dirt roads, let's build those. Start improving the infrastructure of Col. Build that up to a nice big fat fortress and things will definitely improve. Keep the boat there, keep an eye on London. Now how's that going? Um, so there we go, 800. It hasn't even been completed because we don't have 800 in the bank. So what we might have to do actually is, so that's 400. Yeah, we're going to remove that from the queue. I want to make sure that port's built first. The upgrade to Kong can wait until such times I've got a port in there. That will help trade, also give me advantage of creating cogs and other bits and pieces. So, here my is Lord. Francis Selwyn. You, sir, are going to York. Yes. And yes. my faction air can sit yes. in a nice big fat castle if in Nottingham. If finds us here, it won't be to their liking. Damn right. So, my diplomat kept getting blocked, which is very, 
very annoying. So, yes, let's get him to sniff out. That looks like a nice area, oh, possibly for our merchant. Maybe we can build another merchant. I shall preach here let's until see. the morrow, sire. Diplomat, no. Merchant, 550 florins. Let's wait, build the uh, port, and then get a merchant who I think will be able to get over there to the silver mines. So that will certainly be advantageous. Can be constructed. At, can, silver mines can be constructed at the nearby settlement. So maybe what I can do is get my army out there. This boy here. Take him out here and start kind of dealing with areas of Ireland. Maybe take Dublin. Uh, what I think I need to do, however, is after I've built the docks, I'm going to build some watchtowers up here so I can see who's coming into my territory and also if anyone's coming over from Ireland and also down here to see if anyone's coming in from Wales. And I'll build some here as well. They don't have to, they can just be watchtowers, but as long as it gives me visibility of who's coming at me, I really need to know that. Turn 10. Princess Bint disappears. So there we go. More money. Still not enough to get that port. Bit unfortunate. So, oh, I don't know though. See, it's 50% complete. So that is definitely advantageous to us. End of report. As you can see, profit's gone down a little bit because we're building that port. But once the port's built, that's definitely good news for us. So as you can see, we've got everything there. Repair, retrain. So, no, that's fine. Leave it as it is. And normal tax rates. And, okay, so what we need to do is tell it to save. So, at the moment, what I want to do is just save money. Because if I end up running into you a... Parley, noble sire, send an emissary. I shall, laddie. Um, just to check to make sure things are okay here. My old knights, see that's the thing, you see, it's that recruitment upkeep cost. You know what? It's not worth it, sorry boys. And what have they got here? See these guys, this is costing me an arm and a leg. If we look at this, see army upkeep, expenditure four thousand two hundred and fifty-nine of the five thousand four hundred. The army is what's costing me the money, particularly those mailed knights. But the question is, do I need them? Hmm, okay, let's go to turn 11 and see what happens. So, there we go. Things have improved. Right, send an emissary to Milan. Here's Milan, which is helpful because our boy's here. So we'll send him down As there. So one, tomorrow's two, three, journey four, planned out. first turns sir. to get down there. So, there we go. We have portage. An English port in London. Yay. And that's our... Uh, Point for when stuff comes out so that's great news very pleased about that now the question is can we construct anything see we could make that into a mott and bailey but at the moment i think we need to do land clearance but see the thing is what i can do is send our boy here out l king arama with not many troops no that's not good the question is, can the this boy here, if we Orders. send him out with a reasonable amount of troops, Orders. over to here, can Your he... Will, Ooh, he can, excellent. So, if we go there, yes. and we'll we shall build continue tomorrow, a sire. watchtower. That's all we yes, want sir. is the ability to Directing see that map. See, that's what we want to be able to see these kind of things and then what we do is we will send him down here next tomorrow, build a watchtower so we can see Carnarvon and these areas around here and then we'll also build one here because last time I had a problem with the Portuguese basically invading Wales or this sort of area so so there's the new mission it should be okay 500 florins helpful 897 more florins port has been completed Portastic, and see as you can see the Scots are bearing down on me. I do not like that one bit. Back off before I take a liking to your lands and daughters. Yeah, right. Turn twelve. Okay, so we got a princess coming to us. That looks like a Spanish princess. Yes, it is. Told by the uh, thing. 
Question is, what does the lady want? We come bearing word. Trade you. rights and give you 160 florins. You know what? How about a counter proposal? Trade rights. To force a woman's hand like this is shameful. I'm not forcing your hand, you stupid moo. I'm just not going to pay you money well, to give you trade no. rights. I'm giving you my trade rights, you're giving me your trade rights. That's called a fair and balanced proposal. I'm not going to pay for your shopping trip. So, your that's will, there. Sire. Let's move down to here. As you wish. We shall continue tomorrow, so that's sire. good. The question is, can I put a watchtower there? Yes, sir. Yeah, just Directing on the border of Wales. My Lord. And then we'll send him down here as well. We have marched our limit today, So sire. that's looking pretty good. So you've got the English watchtower there. We'll probably put another one there. There's no need at the moment. Let's transfer... Your will, sire. No, we'll leave them. There's no point doing that at all. So, what we want to do is... Uh, no, I don't want that on there. No, nope, don't want that. And what I want is a growth build policy. I want to grow these guys so that they end up getting large. So there's that one. Recruitment. That's fine. Construction, no. And this one, very high tax rate. Recruitment, no. That's fine. So, that's looking Boys. good. I can buy those guys in, 860, 460, if I need them. I don't at the moment. Walk in the light, friend. God's servant. Yeah, whatever. On my way. So, we'll send him over to I the far spent, corner. I am sire. I shall continue tomorrow. You enjoy your holiday on the uh, south coast of Ireland. Princess Bint has been dealt with. Turn number 13. Let's hope this is not unlucky. Oh, soldiers getting in the way again. Looks like they're going to attack the Flemish rebels. Yeah, that's right. Princess Bint is off. Yeah, snooty moo. So, as you can see, Milanese uh, doodars. Path has been blocked again. End of turn report. Now, the question is, how many more turns have I got? Three turns. Yes, my lord. So, I need to get here. The question is... Approaching their dick. You have a proposition for our people? We accept this proposal until next time. There we go. So I've had diplomatic relations and we've got trade relations, so that makes yes, life a bit easier. Lord. Don't have to send Without them all the way down there, yay! Uh, so... My what Lord. goes on down here? By your command. So what we'll do Continuing is we'll put in another watchtower for the time being. Thing is, I could put yes, in ports, uh, a um, uh, bases, will, uh, but I don't really need to because I'm going to go for that one anyway. That will be a good base established. Um, Ireland, I won't need anyone except that one, I don't think. So I don't need to worry about it, in my opinion. So what we are going to do? Ah, agent limit reached. Hmm. Okay. Let's do land clearance and church. Now that will improve public order. The, to be honest, public order is not really a problem. Brothel. Who doesn't want a brothel? Leather tanner. Market. Increasing tradable goods means that I'll be able to train a merchant. That would be helpful, but it's quite expensive. Um, okay. Construction complete. Land clearance at York. Let's check on York to see if there's anything else we can do. That's 800 florins from Motton Bailey. Hmm. Now leave it for the time being. Oh, Venice and the Holy Roman Empire are at fisticuffs. So he's on the west, uh, the south coast of Ireland. Uh, he's just obviously got his ass kicked by the Flemish rebels. So uh, this is a merchant, I think, trying to do a takeover. Let's see. You bastard. Flippin' took over my bloody merchant, the git. See, look, seize my assets. Swine. See, take rebel settlement. See, now they want me to take the sodding rebel settlement. The Holy Bible may preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened, 
then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness... Yeah, we won't bother going on the crusade for the time being. It's not to our advantage. New mission, join the crusade. Yeah, great. Your reputation will be high. Take the rebel settlement in 15 turns. Who's there? So, let's see if we can send all these guys, except for the spear militia, over to say hello. We shall continue tomorrow, sire. So, let's see what's happening now. We Obviously, we've got some French there who could become a little bit of a problem sire. for us. Let's go down to about there, I reckon. Yes. We'll put the next watchtower there. As we continue to keep an eye on what is going on. There you go. Land clearance, yay. And put those two in. Land clearance and dirt roads. Um, and hmm, I just wonder, it's not worth having a port that close. Kind of really want the port up here in Scotland, or at least closer to Scotland, so York would be the best option. Um, we'll have to go for the Mott and Bailey. So there we go, we go for the Mott and Bailey in York. Now, obviously, that will increase certain aspects to uh, what's going on. See that? So, settlement will work. Once conveyed to the Martin Bailey, convert upgraded to Wooden Castle. We'll be able to recruit troops, things of that nature. So, um, it's going to be not conducive to open trade, but it's at the bo at my border to Scotland, and I kind of want a little bit of a military barrier between me and the Scots, because in medieval times, I do not think they're to be trusted, but that's just my feelings on the medieval Scots, not the current ones. Just thought I'd mention that. So as you can see, nice little trade route set up there between the two ports. So this all helps my income. As you can see, the upkeep there is quite good. Construction's pretty good. King's Purse good. Tax is pretty good. Trade, see, money's coming for trade and farming. So what we need to do really is just get everything ready so that things can be farmed. So, because we like the farming who are Let's see what we can do with coal. There we go. Dirt roads and land clearance. Okay. What's that one? Could we convert into a large town? Convert the building browser. See what structures will and won't be developed. Mm. Okay. Right. So we're going to leave that for the time being. Turn 15. Now they've just combined their army into a single. There we go. Looks like they're going to attack that. Yeah, they are. So they're basically sieging that area that we're trying to capture. Now the question is, what are we going to do? Are we going to capture that area, or are we going to siege those people? Now more Scots are coming into York, and York is being overrun or in danger of being overrun. So your will, sire. I cannot siege that. As you wish. So I'll just have him stay there for the time being. Crusade has been joined by Venice. As you can see, money's being spent, but we're not so low. Retraining has been... What? Hang on, I didn't ask for anything to be retrained. What's going on? Recruitment, construction, no, that's all done. I don't want a military build policy. I want a balanced... I want a f growth build policy. I want basically people to grow, my city to improve, and everything along those lines. So, what we my want Lord. is this guy here yes, sir. to create, whoops a daisy, not that, that watchtower. Yes, sir. So, he's now basically created that watchtower. Orders. That gives us visibility of pretty much all of England and anything coming at us from Wales. Let's send him back As you there. wish. Continuing tomorrow, sire. So as you see, London, land clearer, dirt roads, improved trade, speed of units, blah, blah, blah. So that's all very helpful stuff. Okay. So, Holy Crusade, join the Crusade. Not interested, not interested. Take Rebel Settlement, 13 turns left. I've got to wait for these guys to finish their punch up. End of term report, only 627 down, looking pretty good, let's check the finances, see no diplomacy, no construction, see wages and upkeep of the army. See the question is, I could obviously send the army into battle, get a lot of them wiped out, Your which will, would sir. solve the problem, but the question is, 
hmm, it's these guys that are going to cost me the money. So the question is, do I want to take the chance of getting these guys to attack Wales? But the thing is, if I lose that army, I'm going to be leaving York possibly open. I do not have a lot of troops, and that is a significant amount of Scots people around the area. So let's move us back to yes. there for the time being. We have marched our limit today. Let's walk yes. him over yes. here, make sure there's no other settlements God. being set up. No, everything Continuing is once I have rested. My let's Lord. go and say hello to the Danes. As you wish. Make sure there's no Viking Viking goings on. Path blocks, yes, whatever. Money's good. Next turn. Okay. So there you go, they're coming out to have a fight. Oh bugger. Nuts. So bench essentially it means that I now have to attack a Catholic faction in order to get Ron. Rion? Renz? Whatever. I don't know how you pronounce the damn thing. But either way, it concerns me. Yeah, I know I'm no longer required to take it, blah blah blah. Go Orders. back to Con. As you wish. But it now means that I've got French on all sides except for that. Concern is afoot. Sire. Deep concern. By your command. Yeah, damn right. Come on, get on with it. Continuing tomorrow, sire. And the thing, 847 florins. Land clearance at Nottingham. All good. So, let's see what we can do here. Communal farming, improve farm and production. So, I would say that that is a good option to go for for the time being. We'll look here as well. There we go. We do communal farming. The thing is, it's 1,200 florins. It's going to be expensive. But the benefits that it will give us will be, you know, obviously improved farms, food production, uh, gives you more level of productivity, uh, productivity, prosperity and security. So it basically will aid our growth in these areas. Let's see how York is getting on. Now the thing is, a mustering hall will make us to bring peasants, convert to a village. So that's 800 florins, can't really afford it right now. Turn 17. As you can see, the... Uh, Catholic. Whoa. You just did not attack me. Yeah, just have it. Have your punch up and get over with it. Get it over with. Come on. I want to see what the French are going to do. Are we at war? Oh, yeah. No. I really thought he was going to attack me, so... What I'm going to do, Billman, the 230, Levy Spearman, Peasants, Hobbelars, they'll be 280, Mailed Knights, too expensive. Let's go for some Billman. We'll build those. Bill, Bill, Bill the Billman. Hopefully it won't be too large as Bill. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Um, and uh, we'll just check to see what's going on. I do not like these French people standing here. It deeply alarms me, and if they attack me, orders. I'm yes, going to be severely pissed. Okay. Send an emissary to Poland. So, there's our boy. Yes, my lord. If only I could, sire. Well, get yes, on with sire. It. Olevril Gusti from Venice has snuffed it. The great servant of God. Okay, so there's the Billman. So they've been put in there. That improves my army situation. And hopefully, it's unfortunately given my um, army and wages a little bit of a hike. But it might force them to back off and think twice about it. See, upkeep upkeep see these guys are really low in upkeep but additional forces might help me let's put some of those guys in because what I want to do is just even if they're just peasants with pitchforks if I can see significantly more of my troops on the battlefield than their troops maybe that will make them think twice um, possibly not but I guess we'll find out turn 20 See, he looks like he's waiting to attack. My respects to you, Your Majesty. 
My respect, give me a break. This is medieval England. I'm gonna get respect in medieval England. See, the thing is, the line Spain and Portugal. Okay, so Catholic Spain and Portugal have announced an alliance. That makes sense because that's their to their both their benefit. However, this boy's sitting outside here. You're tired of ordering your own forces about? Do I remind you of one of your own captains? Man? No, Do you I remind me like of you? someone who needs a sword in the face. Fleet ready, sire. Yeah, okay. So, now the question is. What are my options? I have a funny feeling Perhaps the Scots are going to attack. They might team up with the French. That is relatively secure. York is not. It's got a reasonable amount of troops, but not more than Edward, Edward Canmore. Um, so, I guess we'll find out in the next episode of Total Tuesday.